Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Let's Play on PS4. I'm UK Gamer 88 and I'll be taking you on today's SnowRunner gameplay. And we are completing the mission, the drill rig assembly, where we've got to drive up to Northport and pick up the the semi trailer and bring it back to the port in Northport. So. No, actually, it's in the other map, isn't it? It's White Mountain River we got to go to, sorry. we go to go to the port in Mountain River, pick it up, drag it back, and take it to the port in Northport. I thought that sounded a bit weird. I thought, hey, I'm not doing that. Dean, I'll tell you what, I'm struggling with this P16, keeping it straight. So I'm on the wheel, and using the wheel has been fantastic. I've been loving the as off. That's been brilliant, really has been. Let's go on outside camera. Oh, yeah, and we should have a camera set up for that first, which might help. Oh, and here we go, we're gonna get stuck on the barriers. Stupid, just stupid. Let's get a bit of a run up, and we go a little bit off road there because we haven't got chains on the P16 but the P16 has been in the, my garage for months I don't think no I haven't used it for anything so I thought right well this this contract the big rig as assembly I said I think I said assembly early I said well I'll tell you what what is going on with this wheel let's get lined up with it and I'll tell you what my PlayStation is whirring away Hopefully you can't bloody hear it because it's uh, it's crazy. It is stupidly warm uh, today. Anyhow, uh, let's see if I can get this driving a little bit better because I'm struggling a bit with this one. He's just getting used to it. Just bring that camera. Well, not too up. There we go. Right. Anyway, so let's get on with the P16. Get it over to Mountain River, and then pick up the semi trailer. And bring it back to Northport so this one's ideal because we haven't got to do any off-roading really it's all that was the nice thing about Alaska are we gonna get right there come on that there's quite a few of these tasks and contracts and whatever you do that's just a bit of road work so you're not gonna get stuck which I thought I'd grab the p16 get it into well hopefully we're not going to get stuck and hopefully it'll be a good truck for the job should be it's got the power it's got the wheels I just hope we don't get stuck up trying to get up any hills but we should be all right there's a little bit of a bounce on the front end there and we won't bother with fuel at the moment oh yeah there's a little bit waving around it's probably down to the ice isn't it where I've been driving with chains and you just get used to it, don't you? Let's drop that camera down a bit. It's trouble see, when I grab my joypad, it kicks the wheel, controls out. Because it's like, oh, are you using that? And you're like, no, I just want to move the camera. Whereas there is a camera control on the wheel. I've got the G29, but it's a, it's a bit crap. I don't like it. Well, I'll cope with that water, all right. I just hope it does the job because like I said I haven't used this one whatsoever I'll tell you what I'm lost now where are we yeah we're not we are going to Mountain River that's what I thought I thought well we're not going left here we're going straight we are going to Mountain River I think I've done quite a few of these missions and tasks um, I just done them getting used to using the wheel basically so I've done a few of them now, there's about three where I've just kept it in cab, where I hated in cab with the gamepad, but with the wheel, it's uh, it's awesome, it really is. I think I do better with the wheel in, in cab than I do outside. Alright, so I've come round to Mountain River, and this should be quite an easy one really, because I've cleared the route. So we haven't got any obstacles. Right, let's get down there. 
course because I forgot about it. this hasn't got all wheel drive so there is a few hills and hopefully it's going to get up, up them otherwise that's going to get a bit annoying if it doesn't especially when they don't have chains they should have some chains for them what's the point of not having chains Come on, get right in there then. See the steering on this P16, it sort of turns and then it doesn't turn. I think it is just a lack of chains, so you're losing that grip. Right, so let's do a little bit of off-road here. Swing it back round. And that wasn't an issue. Right, so I think we are turning here. I should have set a route really, shouldn't I? Spin it right, so we know where we're going. Yep, straight the way down that road, swing it left, and that takes us to the port. So let's get it down the hill. Bit of wheel spin on there. As long as it doesn't slide out of control going downhill so yeah getting this oil rig up here as of just up there just in case we do need a tow now these barriers is gonna screw us up you wait and see they're fine if they bang out the way but if they don't oh they did they get caught underneath they can be a right pain in the arse really can So yeah, I've done quite a few on Alaska now, probably about five, there's probably more than that, probably about seven, eight missions now. Done quite a few, come on, get round right there. Yeah, that ice, it doesn't like steering, I'll have to steer before I get to the bend, and then I might get round it. But I don't know why I, I left Alaska, it was because I was doing Russia first, and uh, with all the bugs in Russia, but I haven't had any bugs yet. Then again, single player, you don't get that many problems. I hope. But loving Alaska. Awesome map, really is. Would have been nice if we had some ice to break. Now, is this the location? That's the warehouse, isn't it? No, it's, it's onward still. I think. Why don't I just set a waypoint? Because it is, it is there. Right, so we need to reverse that back up. Come on. right then now I haven't been down this way yet so I don't even know what this road's like oh and that's not too bad that's fine we can handle that and we have got fuel here no I thought that was a fuel tanker new trailer discovered oh it's a service trailer Right, so let's just turn that around. Come on, there we go. Right, I'll tell you what, I think we go on the gamepad just for doing this. It's just easier to get the camera around and get in position where you want to and wow that that PlayStation today is crazy stop that'll do attach trailer too far away attach trailer thank you
so all I'm going to watch is turning too late. I think that's going to be the main problem. And I'll tell you what, I think we're probably better off going in in cab view because we can't see nothing otherwise. Let's, uh, let's sort that camera out. Put it so we got view and we should be able to see the clocks as well. See what's going on. Right, let's go. Hopefully the P16 will be fantastic. It should be. We're all we're only on the road anyway. So I want to go wide on this one. Go out and then we turn. Hopefully we get rain all right. Because I can't see nothing. Yep, we're still going. I thought I might have caught the back end of the trailer. And now uh, we need we need to sort these cameras out because they're just, you know, that there. What are you meant to do with that? What are you meant to do? Oh, let's zoom out. Oh, there we go. And then it's like, right, okay, let's go on the back. And like, with that view, we can't really see much what's going on. It's nice to see the back end of the vehicle, but yeah, I'm going to run into trouble if I drive like this. I think. Yeah, we nearly ran into trouble right there. Come on then. Come on the P16. Let's get up there. I want to keep this momentum going for getting up this hill. And what have I caught on now? When I was going there, I thought that's a little bit too close. Here we go. Get it straightened back up and get on with it. You know, I didn't really like the look of this P16 myself. It was one of those trucks I was like, yeah, I wasn't really bothered about wanting to drive that one. But we've got to try them out, haven't we? And a lot of people said it's a good truck. So will it give us traction up here? Well, we're still moving. We won't knock down again. As long as we get at the top. Keep it. Oh, here we go. It is spinning. I don't want to stop because I know it'll happen, it'll uh, roll backwards. As soon as we get up out of this hill we should be all good to go. And am I stuck on something? It seems to be that way. Ah right, yeah. That's probably not a good idea to take that as tight as I did. And then again, do we, we don't really want to go back down there, do we? I'll just go up over the top there. That should give us enough room to get around there. Come on now. Just. might have screwed that up a little bit well it shouldn't go anywhere anyway come on turn I knew you're gonna have trouble then come on there we go as long as it don't fall down that hole because it'll be gone right we could probably get back on on the wheel Right then, onward. 
because we have got all the way across Northport to get to yet yeah. and I keep forgetting to go a little bit wide on the bends Come on. There we go. I think it's just traction that's half the problem here. We just haven't got traction. But we're away again. So no issues. The drill rig disassembly will happen. Get a bit of power going up this hill. And we are there. Right, let's get through to Northport. Right, so here we are. Let's just, uh, oh, stop, 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 stop there. Whoa, hang on a minute. There's me, I've got the wheel around. I'm trying to press the handbrake, and you're like, why is the handbrake? Because that's the clutch. Just want to move that camera around a little bit check on the external camera next one that one because that will be the one for looking behind us we're going to need that you can see there yeah i've got to go a lot wider than i should and i should have done stupid just stupid so let's get jump back inside and break off bit of power Come on. And yeah, it is going to drag it over there. But I've got to watch that. Go wide round the bends, otherwise we're going to get it trapped. And it's still there. It's still there. Come on, though. Right, hopefully we'll have no dramas to go straight over those rocks. Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Keep her going. Come on. Nearly use half a tank of fuel. Shall we get fuel? Yeah, I think, well, it's always one of them things. If you're thinking about getting fuel, just get it. Stop. It's better to have it than not have it. Get back out that way. Save trying to get that rig in there. Let's go. Onward. Oh, that's, we want to be on the left-hand side as we're going round here. Come on. Lovely. Well, I think I need a bit more f force feedback on the wheel. I haven't got it turned up enough, I don't think. What a difference using the wheel is. It's... Um, it's, it's a whole different game, it really is. It just makes being able to steer are so much easier. And I'll tell you what, we better jump out of camera view here because yeah, you're not coming round like that, are you? No way. Should have gone wide first. So let's get it over that side of the road before we go around there that should help come on there we go
Yeah, and I probably should have started turning before I did. Because you can see we don't turn very much here. There we go. Not on this ice anyway. Oh, come on. I'm making an absolute nightmare of this. And we're spinning. Stop. Turn the wheels. Let's go. Whoa. Just a little bit. Gently, gently. And that's it. It's coming round. Lovely. Right, let's get back. In cab. Let's get back on it. Right, so the route is all ready to go as well. We shouldn't have any problems. Oh, we haven't. There's nothing in the way. However, I think I've left a crane in the way, come to think of it now. I'm sure I've left my ass off. I've got a crane. But we'll soon find out. Should be good. Right, so here we want to stay on the left hand side again. And then it should be all good. Like clicking those barriers. Well, come on, we've gone over that way still, that's it. That's lovely. And these barriers keep respawning again, it's really annoying. Well, Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Are we getting through? Yes. No problem. Right, so we're down near, near the garage now then, so we're not far. Over halfway, done. You know, I've just got to watch the, the speed when I'm turning. Yeah, and I'm dragging in the snow there, aren't I? Come on. Should go into low, but hey. We got the power. We just drag it round. And why is this going so slow then? What am I doing? Oh, you are just, wow, look how close to that post you really were. Right, let's just go on. Get back on the game pad. Because we've got a few bends to negotiate this way oh come on it's as far over whoa yeah it loves giving me this bit of damage now I'm on the barrier we don't want to be doing any of that because we're going to get stuck oh typical isn't it look at that There we go, we're back. We're, we're all good. I thought, here we go, we haven't got all wheel drive, we're going to get stuck. Whoa. Well, that was a nice bit of impact on that. Thank you very much. And I forgot how tight it was down here. Yep, knew I was going to have impact then as well. This truck, it seems to be anything you hit is going to give you impact some of them really do need tweaking they're a pain in the ass 
we don't mind a bit of damage but not if you're just hitting things and it just damages for the sake of it right so now we're, we're flying whoa whoa there we go come on get out of there I'll tell you what I'm going to try and drive it from the side there Right, let's go. Handbrake. And I can't believe how hot, hot this day is. It's crazy. I've got sweat pouring off my head here. Let's get that out of the trees. At least we've got an idea of this view, what's going on behind. I think we've just got to keep going straight. Now I'm sure this road, oh, is that going to clip the back end? No, we're all right. Well, it's trouble I can't see where the steering is then. Come on, get up there. Stay over on the right hand side. And then we'll work our way over. Whoa. And we can get past the Azov, I think. Yes, no problem. At least I didn't leave it right in the middle of the road. Lovely. to do that then I just had that whoa hang on a minute you've got a lot of weight pushing behind you you're gonna lose that let's get lined up on the bridge first come on and we should have a oh, bloody collision there we go Onward. Yeah, I don't know if I could use the P16 in cab view all the time. I suppose it's, I haven't used it before, so it might be just me not used to it. But there is the port in sight. And it's nearly dark. It's ridiculous how quick it goes. 25, 30 minutes, and that's a whole day. Right, now this would be, should be fun. We'll just stay over that way. Whoa, hang on, not get to that post, and then whack it round. Oh, come on. Nope, wants you me to reverse that. Come on in, now we can get right in there. Fair play, the Pacific P16 did quite a good job of that. Right, I take it we're just going straight into this. Is this the, the one for it? I don't think it is. It's probably round the corner, isn't it? Yeah, it's that one over there. I did that last time as well. So where are we? Oh, we can we can do that. Let's get on the gamepad and do that. We can get right there. That's not a problem. And I think it's that one there, isn't it? That'll just disappear. Disposed of all the junk. Righto, well that's it for today's SnowRunner gameplay on the PS4. Quite an easy one to do. The Pacific performed quite well. 
although it would be nice to have some chain tires on this would uh, make it a lot easier a hell of a lot easier but we always want something don't we oh, and i'm surprised it didn't get damaged there right oh that's it for today's snowrunner let's play ps4 and that was the oil rig disassembly for alaska region of snowrunner i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you've got time why not go and check out one of my other videos I've got plenty of snowrunner content out there now and if you're looking for snowrunner news then i'm your man not much going on with news at the moment but we're waiting for the update but there you have it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one